Welcome back, guys. Uh, we do not have any contracts at the moment, but that's okay. We have quite a lot of money, so it's fine, I suppose. Uh, we do have research ongoing for reinforced bolted assembly and the extended anti-tank gun. We're reverse engineering the Dassault uh, MLE-126, and we are designing the little shredder, which is great. So let's keep going. Uh, were we in this battle? Nope. All right. And we completed the reverse, engineer, the reverse engineering, so that's fine. Uh, okay. New trains for the British. And Serbian rails era two. Military doctrine. Economical mail tank. The British want. Is well, it's certainly not that little shredder. No, no, certainly not. All right, we cannot do this, we don't have anything that fits the bill, which is unfortunate. But we can't do it. Uh, between Romania and Austria-Hungary, nope, we're not in that battle. New tank revealed by the William Foster Com Company. Brigade tank, codenamed Hera Mark II. All right, there we go. New military equipment. And little shredder is done designing. So let's test it in the proving grounds. Battle of Hatsik Novi between Austro-Hungary and her Empire and Serbia has concluded. We were not involved. The military equipment available. I don't think we have anything to engineer, do we? I suppose we could try and design a new tank. I don't know that I want to right now, though, with the hulls that we have. We've just done the big shredder and the little shredder. So I don't think, I don't think there's any point right now. So I guess the engineers just take a rest. The military equipment of the Germans. Battle of Sabadell between Spain and Italy has concluded. We were on both sides, so the winner was Italy. Uh, but George, the tank's outstanding performance across all fronts proved to be the key to our triumph, delivering unmatched fire mobility, devastating firepower, and unwavering resilience. So Italy won with 24, 20 tanks against the 24 of Spain so deployment was so so recon was bad targeting good hit good ricochet will hit ricochet penetration and damage so so and repairs bad but all in all apparently a win for them for the Spanish The well, outcome was bad, deployment, so-so, recon and targeting, good, hit ricochet, penetration, so-so, damage and repairs, bad. Okay. Well. I suppose they can't both win. So that's uh, this one, I guess. Yeah, I already looked at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just there was a, a thing there. New military equipment. Now, the economic mail tank. I wish there was. Like a. 
component types in series. Modification types in series. Yeah. I wish there was some kind of Uh, information on what, uh, for instance, a vanguard tank is, and an economical male tank and female tank, and so on. But there isn't really. It would be nice to know. If you know what an economical male tank or an economical female tank is, please feel free to let me know in the comments, because I don't have a clue. All right. The Spain campaign between Spain and Italy has concluded. No military equipment available. Velestino between Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria. We are not involved. Project balance 15.9 million. Little shredder tank trials completed. Oh, before we do this. Let's go to the Design Bureau. Uh, little Shredder. Let's repair all its defects. Done. And then I guess we need to test drive it. Uh, little Shredder. Test drive. Okay, here we go. We do have a main tank gun on here now, which is nice. And it has a relatively nice low profile. And it's nice and quick. Uh, we need to shoot the machine guns. I can't shoot that one. I can shoot that one. Why, why can't I shoot this one? That's a little weird. That one doesn't work, apparently. So we'll have to take these out with... Wow, that thing flew. Uh, apparently the... Ah, we missed. How the heck did we miss? Didn't miss there. It's annoying that number two doesn't work. Because we need to shoot a lot of stuff with... Machine guns. Where is the number two? I don't see it. Huh. Okay. And the number three doesn't work. Well, it, 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 number three works, but it doesn't work for our purposes. We missed that. Hit. 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 No, miss again. Dang it. Miss again. We're running out of uh, tank shells. Or heavy shells or whatever they're called. Let's give this one more try. Nope, it just won't hit that one. Nope. Alright, never mind. Excuse me. It really bugs me that number two doesn't work. 
It's very annoying. We have 34 left. Hmm. All right. The mobility is certainly excellent. The mobility is outstanding, I'd say. To back up some. All right. Hit. Hit. Miss. Hit. 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 All right. Twenty eight left. I mean, it only drives like five kilometers an hour faster than the the big tanks, but it feels much better to drive. And it feels much faster as well. I suppose from 15 to 20 kilometers an hour is quite a big jump in speed. All things considered. I want to shoot that thing. Give me the shot. There we go. We're at 285 points. And we can skip those, I think. Alright. We did it. Alright, so... We have that available for sale now. Ten tanks for Luxembourg. A rationalized tank. I wonder if Little Shredder would do the trick there. Yeah, it does. 863. What about, for instance, you? No. Alright. Little Shredder, you will be sold. But not for that much money. How much do you cost to make? 16,000. All right, we'll sell them 15. All right, we'll make around uh, 17,000 the cost. We'll make around 4,000 a piece, I guess. Let's do that. All right, and let's start building some little shredders. That's not where I wanted to go. We'll just build 15 of them, just in case they accept the bid. So, a little shredder. Let's do 15. Sign. And they have something to do as well, which is good. Italy announces new contract for 18 cents. Land battleship. Ooh. Uh, let's see. We can check out. Well, we know that this probably fits the bill. Yeah, kind of. 844 actually it's not that great no okay the others where why can't we use our other uh, tanks the big shredder for instance well okay they want to pay 56,000 and we'll produce 27 of them for them and we'll take this down to around 800 and score 801. All right, 63,000 a pop, so that's more than 30,000 per tank. 27 tanks, that is outstanding. 
And this was the Mark 8 land battleship. Yes, it was. So let's make. Uh, Mark 8 land battleship. Let's make 27 of those. Assign. And then we can go order some more resources. Africa isn't good. Alright, we'll do Oceania. We'll do as much as we can of each of those. We'll do 20,000 rubber and as much as we can of the high carbon steel and sign that order. Alright. Battle of all between Sweden and Germany has concluded. We did not have tanks involved there. Interwar heavy artillery. Luxembourg accepted our contract. Very good. Italy accepted our uh, contract bid. Rival tank captured. Nice. Odin aus B. Let's buy it. Let's reverse engineer that sucker. Odin aus B. We already had that. Man, that sucks. What did we... Why did we buy it? Dang it. Well, that was... Two and a half... Well, 250,000 out the window, I guess. Awesome. New military equipment, rifle hand grenade, or rifle grenade, model T. Uh, in Portugal and France. So we were involved there and we won. Awesome. Against the Taranis MLE. Fantastic. Uh, they came in with 16 tanks. They have six left now. We still have all our 24 left. That is awesome. That is awesome. The tank swift and nimble movements on the battlefield were a sight to behold, embodying the British spirit of relentless determination. Nimble is not a word I would have considered using for uh, for the land battleship, I don't think. Uh, but fine. Uh, with its agile maneuverability, the tank danced across the battlefield, outmaneuvering the enemy and leaving a trail of victory in its wake. Well, again, agile maneuverability. But I'll take it. Tank's exceptional aiming devices proved to be a game changer on the battlefield. Awesome. Uh, hit was so so. Tank's exceptional performance in hitting enemy targets was a sight to behold as its shots landed with devastating accuracy. The tank's impeccable gun and ammunition selection proved to be our salvation as the rounds found their mark without a single ricochet. Awesome. Penetration. The tank's exceptional gun and ammunition combination proved devastatingly effective as the rounds penetrated armor with unwavering precision. Tanks round tore through the enemy units with unrelenting force, leaving a wake of devastation in their path. And our tanks, though battered by the fires of battle, were swiftly restored to their former glory. Awesome! That was a good that was a good result. That was a good result. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. I wish that would go away. Because now we can go in here and now it goes away. Now that we, but we'd already seen it. So I wish when you clicked on the newspaper article, that should go away as well. It didn't go away even then. We have to click outcome, I think. And then it'll go away. Yeah. All right. I suppose we could make some improvements to the tank. Make a version two of it. 
Right. Trade agreement, little shredder production complete. So let's go ahead and ship those out. Not in Empire and Bulgaria. We are not involved. Spain announces a new contract for 16 tanks. Also land battleship. Alright. So I guess we can't do the others there either. No. But. We can do the market land battleship. And we'll do 24. Let's get the price up there. Again, we'll get it down to around 800. There we go, 65,000. So that's 35,000 per tank that we'll be making. Outstanding. We can start production of it straight away. It's the land battleship. Mark 8 land battleship. Uh, we want 24 assign. Standing, new alliance treaty. Oh, research complete, research complete. New military equipment available. Research, research, research. So that was the extended anti-tank gun. That we got completed there. Fantastic. Uh, let's do the petrol. Engine Lancaster I6 because we have to do it anyway to move on. We're researching that so we can get up to these other hulls. I think we want the enhanced medium hull next. That seems like a good idea. We still have a lot to do back here as well. Well. We'll maybe get there someday. The Battle of Lingura between Portugal and France has begun. We're not involved in that one. They accepted the contract for 16 tanks. So we have... Yeah, we have a few tanks. Well, it was 24 tanks. 47 tanks colonial patrol tank Ooh, that might be the little shredder nope little infantry shredder nope big shredder nope big infantry shredder no uh, what about medium hornet no no wow the land battleship does certainly doesn't fit the bill okay i don't think we can do anything with this contract Unfortunately, that's a shame. That's a shame. Hmm. Forty seven tanks, colonial patrol tanks. So that again means that we can't do it. Tag Nabbit. Do we build a tank from the parts that we have taken? Because if we take a look in engineering, that was design. I mean... We could potentially design a tank with this. Hmm. Or with the Schneider. Right, let's go to design. 
and let's see. It doesn't hurt. So it's actually this thing. That's the exact picture that they had on their uh, on their thing. The so with. Where's the extended tank gun? Two thirty, two twenty one, two seventy nine. I think this is the extended. And then the Masson is still the best, right? Two twenty two. Yeah. Then the Dahu running gear, and we can stick a big engine in there. So we can't stick the three hundred horsepower one in there, it seems. But we can do the 150 horsepower one. So stick you in there. Then crew. We need a commander. We need a driver. We need two mechanics. We can't do that. need a mechanic, a gunner, and a loader, and we'll be way low on mechanics. But I think we're going to have to accept that. That's not ideal, though. Hmm... See, it's the cap shells we want, and then the Amatol shell, and the steel core cartridges, and the luminous rounds, the aviation fuel, the standard automotive oil. And then I don't think I want Dunkel Grau. Khaki Brown? Let's do Khaki Brown. And this let's call this What do we want to call this? Um I don't know. Kind of looks a little bit like a Matilda, doesn't it? Ah, not really. Uh, let's call it uh, Betty. Sign. Uh, at least half of the crew requirements are met. Okay, so the loader. We have to put the gunner over here. And then this needs to be a loader mechanic. Yeah. All right, 27 days for the Betty. Production hall accident, 136 casualties. Dagnabbit. Uh, well, let's rehire them. And go to production. And make sure we have as many as we can here. Alrighty. 
Oh, our research is done. How long has that been done? That's a big mistake on my part. All right, I want the enhanced hull. The medium mark one. Start. 120 days. That's not too bad. Albert Storn is available for hire. Okay. Uh, let's go to the administration. Available Albert Storn. Right through. Well, he's good at design and production. Workers per line. That's quite nice. And men are cost reduction. Right, he's going into production. Let's hire him. And let's go to the production hall. And we will stick him. Oh, we, we can't. For he's available in five days, I think it is. All right. Ottoman Empire and nope, we're not in there. Military equipment, alliance, British Empire. It announces a new contract for thirty-two tanks, the Vanguard tank. All right. Well, the land battleship fits the bill. What about the big shredder? That fits the bill even better. Ooh, but. It is expensive to build, 41,000. They don't want to pay that much. All right. 30,000 to build. Let's increase the deadline as well. So that's 48 more of those we'll need. The tank revealed. Let's order some resources from Africa. Order as much as we can there. Not of the rubber though. And then we'll order from Asia as well, I think. Actually, let's order from the Middle East as much as we can. Let's just get a thousand glass. And 10,000 rubber. Sign that order. Right, that's not where I wanted to go. All right, nine days until those are done. British Empire accepted, outstanding. So that'll be 48 tanks more that we need to produce. And that's fine. Uh, and we're also out of time. So uh, yeah, we'll call this one here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It really helps me out and I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and to see you again in the next one.